Hey guys, how's it going? So in the last tutorial on BURAI, which is a GUI of Quantum Espresso, I showed you guys how to perform several geometric manipulations to, a, to your crystal system. And in particular, we learned about how to create a vacancy or perform doping that is introduce an impurity to our system. And we even made some changes to the visualizer. So in this tutorial, we'll be learning another aspect of modeling um, a crystal or a periodic system that is how to create supercells and how to create slabs or monolayers. So open your BRAI software and then just head over to examples and choose any of this you know either a save file XYZ whichever you prefer. In my case I'll be opening the FE save file that we have been working in the past tutorials. So just go ahead and open that. Now this may look different from yours because in the last tutorial if you didn't watch it we performed all these changes where we changed this background, we changed the color of the FE atoms, we changed the font color and all that visualizing stuff. We went through all the geometrical aspects and then we performed some doping and stuff and I also went through the you know the input file. So in case you missed those last videos and here we have the input file for the you know the geometrical aspects of our system so A specifies the lattice parameters since in our case the lattice type is cubic so Ibra which is a quantum espresso parameter is 1 and therefore you only need to specify only a single lattice parameter then the number of atoms is 2 because it is a cubic lattice so if you only have a single atom at the center then all these 8 atoms only contribute 1 8 to this particular unit cell so they you know effectively they are only a single atom so in total we have two atoms and then the number the types of atoms is only one because we only have a single every kind of atoms then I showed you guys how to choose a pseudo potential from this elements tab right here and all that stuff and the atomic positions from the atoms tab so that was a quick review of the last tutorials and we can perform doping and by deleting or replacing these atoms here. Now coming to this, you know, for this tutorial we will be working with the modeler. So just go ahead and click here and go to the modeler. And now this can be used to create a supercell. So to create a supercell, like if you want to create a 2 cross 2 cross 2 supercell, that is you want to extend this unit cell, you know, in the along the x, y and z directions in, you know, twice the number of unit cells so you just go in and specify that 2 cross 2 cross 2 and then hit enter and it will create a 2 cross 2 cross 2 unit um, supercell and you can even you know scale it even higher by specifying it here and this time let's only spe uh, you know extend this unit cell or the supercell along only the x-axis so this time we have a rectangular kind of a shape or a cuboid so let me just go ahead and undo these changes so that we have a single unit cell. So that was how you perform the supercell. So um, to, you know, okay, so now let me just create this supercell back real quick and then hit enter. And if you want to perform calculations on this supercell, then just go ahead and click here. That is, you will, ref you want to reflect these changes on the input file. So when you click here, then it will ask you, if it should create the input file just click on yes and here you have the new input file with all these atoms in the atoms tab showing up and you can even replace or select any of these atoms and then just click right click them or delete them to create a vacancy or just double click them and replace them to create a doping kind of a situation so that's how you create a supercell now just go ahead and close this and we will then work on the on creating a monolayer or a slab so again open this FE save file and head over to your modeler and this time to create a slab model what you need to specify is you need to need to specify the Miller indices along which you want to create the slab so if you want to create a monolayer which only contains these four atoms so in that case um, this would you will specify the edge scale indices or the Miller indices for this plane. So this plane would correspond to um, 0 0 or 0 1 0 All right, so 0 for X because it would be parallel to X then it is 
1 in the y direction then again it is parallel to the z axis so then hit enter so this will create a you know a mono layer along the you know the direction that i told you so here what you are seeing is you are seeing the four atoms at the bottom and then you are seeing another you know center atom so what you can do is like i told you guys i only wanted these four atoms in my mono layer so what you can do is you can change the width of this mono layer by you know working with this um, slider here so you can change the width of the mono layer so if you want more atoms then you can increase it if you want less atoms then you can decrease however well, when I'm decreasing it it is only showing up that single atom in the center so maybe I need to you know manipulate it even further because that's not what I wanted however that's how you create a monolayer and then what you can do is what you're seeing is you are seeing a lot of vacuum in your cells so you can specify how much vacuum you want in your unit cell by sliding this slider here okay so that's how you create a model layer kind of a structure and then you can just click on back to finish this and maybe we can undo it so that we can work on some other indices like one zero zero that would be um, that would be along the x axis all right, so another thing that you want to do, you might want to do when, while creating a model layer is you might want to work with super cells first because a single unit cell would not make a good model layer. So first you sh we should rather extend it and create a super cell and then we should work on creating a model layer. So this time we'll create a model layer which should be um, this part of this unit cell so one zero zero that is intersecting the x-axis at one and then parallel to the and y axis so this side hole thing right then click on build and here you have that part of this monolayer and then what you can do is you can easily adjust the width so that you only have a desired number of atoms so as you can see this was in fact the side of the unit cell that I wanted to have the right side so if you want a thinner monolayer then you can even reduce it further and then you only have the four atoms and then you can increase it further now what you are, you are noticing here is that um, it again has a lot of vacuum so you can even change that here also and then you have a area scaling operation then if you click on 2 then it will extend this monolayer along the x-axis and then if you again change it to 5 then it will extend the monolayer along the y-axis so now you have a rather large monolayer so that is how you create monolayers using BURAI so that's the modeling part and one more thing that you can do here is you can even translate your system or the atoms in the cells so you can just perform a translation along the x-axis by sliding here or you can perform a translation along the y-axis by sliding here and similarly a translation along the z-axis so that's all the modeling stuff that you can do with BURI if you want to save the changes then you should click on the reflect part or you can just undo all that and come back to your save file well that's it thanks for watching and in case you like this video or enjoyed it then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the next tutorial we'll be covering the calculations part since we have already covered the geometrical and how to you know all the basics about the modeling stuff and how to create a system so in the next tutorials we will be covering how, how to perform several calculations and other you know, small details about BRAI. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.